Asia and also in Iran, okay. starting with East Asia and the upcoming U.S. ASEAN Summit. Mm -hmm. Can you just talk a little bit about how important ASEAN is for U.S. policy in the region and how you view specific ASEAN members in, in those goals, in the context of those goals? Well, I think what you've heard the President talk about before as it relates to how he was going to approach, and even if we reflect back on the first year, uh, rebuilding our partnerships and alliances, and some of those are through uh, pre-existing structures like ASEAN, some of them are through direct bilateral relationships, has been a priority for the President uh, from the beginning because he thinks it will strengthen uh, our uh, objective of advocating for uh, a human, uh, for uh, for uh, human rights, uh, for uh, for global security, uh, and for even working in conjunction to address big global problems, right? Like, uh, like uh, the global economy or the COVID crisis. Uh, in terms of the exact agenda, I don't have the details of that yet. I'm sure we will preview it as we get uh, a bit closer. Uh, but you know, it's another opportunity to ha for him to have conversations about how we can work together and how we can rebuild a lot of the relationships that were uh, destroyed over the last the four years prior to him. Well, then quickly on China before I move on to Iran, um, the President said yesterday that he's not ready to lift tariffs on Chinese imports, but the Chinese Ministry of Commerce fired back and said that if he were to do so, it might ease inflation and make things easier for both manufacturers and consumers in China and in the U.S. Is that a tool that he might consider to fight inflation? Well, uh, we are doing undergoing a review of all of these um, and looking at how they impact uh, different industries. That effort is being led by Ambassador Tai, as you know. Uh, some of them have not hurt industries, some of them have, and, and we're certainly, but I don't have anything to preview on that front. It's, it's really being led by Ambassador Tai. And then finally, on Iran, 